Alrighty guys, welcome back to more Danganronpa V3. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is a stab wound to the neck. We just discovered another body, which is messed up. Man, how, how is this supposed to last for six more? How is this supposed to last for, not six more, but three more chapters, bro? And on top of that, how is the debate scrums going, how is that going to work out now? The debate scrotum, the scrotum sack debate mecha mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> the debate scrums. <laughs> How how's that gonna work out with all these people dying? We're I think we're on the double digits now. Making uh, Maki says that she might not have died instantly. A positive she wouldn't have had long, but perhaps a few seconds to move around. Hmm. Thank you for being here, Maki. You're a huge help. The biggest unanswered question is the murder weapon. Where that weapon went will be key to solving this case. Alright, so, I think we looked at everything. Can we talk to anybody else? Oh, this mat. White cloth. It's the white sheet we use for the sea Why doesn't it have it? It doesn't have any blood on it, which is interesting. He was the one who removed it. Is this... This cloth is pretty thick. Similar to a wood, uh, window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back, blood. There's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet. But, but no hole in the fabric. Which means Tinkle wasn't stabbed through the cloth. Okay. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. White sheet has been added to the truth bullets. The dog statue is heavy shit. It's the wooden dog statue used in the Sias. I believe it's called the Dog God. During the Sias, this wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. If I remember correctly. You said it was around about 175 pounds. That's about the weight of two girls. What? What do you know about girls? Have you even touched a woman besides your mother? Uh, um... What? I'm kidding. You sure? Is anyway, this... if this heavy thing was on top of the cage, the Tinko wouldn't have been able to get out easily. Wait, why are you trying to expose me, man? I touched Kaede, she held my hand. Now, what? What you gotta say about that, Maki? Yeah, yeah, I touch girls. I touch girls. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? You're, you're right about that. <laughs> That didn't sound like you were kidding e earlier. Dog statue has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopod. What the hell are you in here for, Sumiji? I said things that made Tinko look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Tinko. Stop it. Cry later. Huh? Because. Crying will bring Tinko back, and if we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tinko and all of us. I guess. You're right, Tinkle would have wanted us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. Gonta. Why? First Angie, then Tinkle! How can this be? Gonta's so ashamed. Why Gonta's so useless? Useless. 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 Kikuchi's like, man, this is boring. Oh, man. What a lame function. You should have made him like a transformer or something. He's still talking about that. The investigation, oh my, the investigation is, o is over and shut. It's all thanks to me for giving Kibo his new function. Nothing. Cunt Foo's killer is obviously, oh my god, one of you stupid assholes who signed up to do this bullshit seance in the first place. No. No, not necessarily. Huh? Seriously, the seance was clearly set up to lure her in and kill her. How could someone who wasn't in the room kill her? Could it be... So you believe that Tinkle was killed during the seance? Fucking moron! There's no other possibility, shit for brains. God, you don't even know that. It is true, Tinkle was alive before the seance began. This is the point of no return, Tinkle. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I would not say a word until the seance is over. You want to just do it again with somebody else? Tinko answered Kyo, so at this point she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were relit, she was done. 
She had already been killed. What if somebody actually came back, were, was revived from Angie, was killed by whoever the original killer was, but the, the guy that came back killed Tenko, but for what reason? What reason, bro? Nah, what, what time exactly was Tenko killed after the candles were blown out? That may be an important point of this case. Yes, Kyo. That cannot be. Why did this? I knew it. I know the murder was pretty shocking. No, he probably wanted to see the seance. But of course. I am shocked about that as well, but why did the seance fail? We performed all the steps flawlessly. You seem more concerned about that than the murder. Ah, uh, yes. If we perform the cage child again and summon Tinkle Spirit this time. This is stupid. Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Suchi were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? I see, yes. True, it may be best to move past what happened to know what the, why the seance fell. Is that so? Whatever, just hurry up. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spiritual medium. Okay, touched her head on a marker. And Suichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. And after that, I placed a white cloth over the cage. Then all four of us placed a wooden thatcher over the dog god on top of the cage, man. And afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Suichi blew out the candles. Yes. Finally, we all sang the Cage Child song to see how it should have been complete, oh. but. Now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. <laughs> it sounded like something like fell. He's a mystery to me as well. It sounded like one of those creatures from a platforming video game I used to play as a child. Hmm. It is a mystery to me. I thought someone may have tri uh, tripped, perhaps. That was a pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Keo knows something. What do you mean? And then what happened? Yes. We called out to her, but no reply came. I had Suichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. First, all four of us removed the dog statue. Next, I took off the white cloth and then... Himiko ran over to the cage, and then the moment she lifted it... Too much shit! Mm. Then it sounds like Tinko was definitely killed in the seance. No. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, yes? Then? Then when was she killed? Well, that's... That is a problem. I see, yes. There's another problem. How? And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe somebody moved from their corner. Did, did someone else sneak in here? Ooh! What's the point? Obviously, since the seance was clearly a sham, Maki never was one to pull her punches. Sound during seance has been added. Alright, we talked to everybody but my, uh, your girl. Hey! Be strong, Himiko! Wait. If you shake Himiko that much, she's gonna break. But... She's not talking. It's like Himiko not even here. Like I thought. She must have been really shocked over Tinko. Let's leave her be for now. Mm. Okay. Himiko. You killing people out here? You killing out? You killing people out here, my girl? I see. Oh, I thought I seen blood on the wall in the back, but it wasn't blood. You ruined Magic Circle, huh? Well, at least it was. Dear. Been completely stumped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Well, was this drawn with salt? Yes. Whenever I perform my seance, I always use salt. What? Are you feeling her out? You sound ridiculous. Ridiculous. I have performed many successful seances. Why? I even had spirits into my book. I'm right already. Shut up! I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Damn, Maki really doesn't beat around the butt. It's kind of refreshing, actually. But. <laughs> In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. So what? We'll find out in Keo's lab. It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Hey. Isn't that right, Keo? He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. Magic Circle Curry Keo's Drew. Hey. 
By the way. Seems pretty dark down there. What should we use for light? Robokai. That's true. Let's bring a candle. We'll keep those light from up here. That should be fine. Okay. Remove that floorboard so we can go okay. down. Okay, got it. Going under the tunnel. Dun, dun, dun. I put up some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Lucky. Then we carefully made our way through the hole under the floor. Bruh, blood dripping? This is a lot more spacious than I thought. He can move pretty easily, too. Whoa! What the hell? There's two holes! There's two blood uh, stains. You see that? You can move pretty easily on all fours. Okay. Let's look around for clues. Well, It'd be pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around in this dusty uh, place. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! Bloody sickle. Whoa! This is coming from the other room. The candle was here. Damn, this is too much, bro. It's a cut cross piece. Ah! What are the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut off? That's true. It's near the loose floorboard, and the portion is missing is about the same width, too. And from what I can see of it... That's true. It wasn't broken off naturally. This was cut by someone. There should be saws in the warehouse, so they could have used that. The question is why? Hmm. It didn't ha Dude, this shit was planned. <laughs> Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fail, uh, fall if the portion is missing. Then... What purpose did this serve? The floorboard underneath Tinkle's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it has been cut! If the culprit did all this, then why? It would be super dark on the dirt, right? So maybe they needed a, a, a place to tell. They needed, like, some kind of way to tell where they were under the fucking, um... Under the, the floor, right? Under the floor, they needed a place to tell exactly where they were so they can get this fucking kill. But how was that planned so far? That means this shit was planned, if that's the case. Dry blood. And then blood stain. This shit is still like what? There's a blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floor. That's pretty far from where Tinkle's blood is dripping down. It's the same floorboard, just has different ends. Why is there blood here? The back of this floorboard has blood on it too. Ah! You're right. There's a little bit of blood on the underside of this floorboard. What do you mean? The tinkle blood spout splatter here when she got killed, but it's dry. That's true. I can't really be sure yet. Okay. They're completely dry. There must be some reason these particular stains are dry. Maybe they cut themselves. Maybe they cut themselves trying to uh, do that. Loose floorboard. Damn! This is ridiculous, bro. This is definitely Tinko's. And then we got this sickle over here in the hole. Damn! There's a sickle over here. Hey, they didn't put it in the window though. There's blood all over it. Okay. This blood on his sickle is fresh. This is it. This is the murder weapon. Is this? This came from my research lab. Huh? It did? Well... The sickle can be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any lethality. <laughs> and it can hide under your you can hide it under your clothes too, you know. Wow. If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand she wouldn't stand a chance. This blade is about six inches. Six inches. Six inches! That's right. And since Tinkle was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. Damn. But, but even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tinkle in the cage? Blade could fit through the gaps in the cage, but could it reach her neck? That's true. The cage is three feet high. If you were able to stab it with a six-inch blade, well, it would depend on Tinkle's posture, but I don't think it's impossible. And her posture is the question. Hey. If the weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away, That's right? That's true. Perhaps after killing Tinkle, the culprit knew through the sickle under the floor and the dirt, or they could have been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. Damn, this is stupid. It's a good thing this is, I feel like this is not gonna be connected to the current case. Maybe, maybe it is, but we don't need to. 
It's so much shit because we got to investigate other murders too. Like, man. Y'all tripping. Killing each other for no reason. So the wood has corroded and it's broken off so you can see into the next room. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's how they got in here maybe. The wall is an empty room, right? It looks like there's a wood along the way. This part has rotted away. Mm -hmm. it looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. Man, but I can get into the next room through that's here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the next room door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here instead of using the hallway. No. True, but it would have been difficult moving around under the floor. We did it all right because we had a light. Without that, it would be uh, pitch black. It would make it impossible to move around in here. No. And they could have used the light like we're doing right now. Well. True, but it was pitch black. They used the light to move around under the floor. Is that possible? I think we finished investigating here. Is that all right? You gonna head back up? I'm glad you asked. I'm starting to get fed up with all this dust. Should be getting fed up with all these murders. After Maka and I crawled out from under the floor, we put the floorboards back and returned to our investigation. Hold up, man. I still want to check out these bathrooms, though. By the way, you've only been investigating this room. You sure that's wise? Huh? What do you mean? Because if Angie and Tinkle have different killers, then the black and we need to vote for is You're right. the culprit for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. That's what Monokuma then... said. So instead of investigating Tanko's death, should we be investigating Angie's? Yeah, you're right. Okay. Of course. Of course. But... But this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died, we need to reveal the truth of both their deaths. Hmm. I understand why you feel that way. But if you plan on investigating the other's crime the scene again, we should probably hurry. What if one of the perp what what if, what if one of the people we summoned right came back alive? Or if, what if Angie actually successively summoned somebody right? She successfully summoned somebody. Ah, oh, dude, there's so many possibilities. It's stupid. <laughs> I guess we're getting out of here. Yo, what if she brought back somebody though? And the reason why the sword was through, uh, what's her called? What's her name called? The sword. The reason why the sword was through Kaede was because Rantaro was really heated. He was like, "How can I die to this dumb asshole?" And he got mad and stabbed her with the sword. Maybe that's, maybe maybe that's, maybe that's what happened. When I came to the hallway, it seemed more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolding. What? Bro, bro, are you serious? What is happening? <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Kokichi, bro. <laughs> you fucking petty as fuck for that, bro. <laughs> oh, you fucking asshole, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I was about to lose my fucking mind, dude. I was like, are you serious, bro? A third death? Are they serious? Kokichi is an asshole for that. <laughs> are you serious, bro? <laughs> Why are you playing games? Bruh. This conversation is going nowhere. <laughs> this conversation is going nowhere. Huh? What are you doing? Oh? I just, I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real blood. Why? What are you doing? Hmm. I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then suddenly he got attacked? <laughs> I stepped through the floorboard. Oh, shit. Huh? He stepped through the floorboard. That's so mean. That got me good, because of this, I tripped and fell pretty hard. Got a minute? If you're going to lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Ah. Sorry, my bad. I guess there was no Crosby supporting this floor, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> what bad luck. The cross piece was gone. Does that mean... No! 
I need to investigate! Confidence! Dreams! That's what the killing game is all about! This is bullshit! Killing game fans! Hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes! Baseball, soccer, mobile games! They're all nothing compared to the killing game! Bruh! It's too soon! The killing game just can't be beat! Behold, students! The entrance to the trial grounds! I guess time's up. Oh. It's because of you guys I didn't have enough time to check something. Huh? What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to re-research the seance again, so I brought this document with me. But unfortunately, Man. I couldn't find anything anything new that could be used as a clue. The shape of the fucking circle, though. Look at it. I feel like that has to... Man! Dude! Kyo perfectly reenacted the seance as what was written in the document. He drew this magic circle the same exact way as the circle as in this picture. Not only that, he used the same exact tools. Dude, nothing suspicious about this whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but I'll tell you guys about it later. At least he was investigating. <laughs> At the class trials, we'll see it. This dude looked like he's literally about to die. <laughs> My dude fell and busted his head. The blood loss clearly affected his footing a bit. Bloody Kokichi has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopod. Uh, um... Uh, let's go to... That's true. Okay. Oh, man! Is Maki nervous? I see, so even she gets nervous sometimes. Die. What are you staring at? Do you want to die? Not really. <laughs> oh, my God. Not like this. Alright, let's see where everybody is right now. Maybe we can talk to people on the way back. Nope. So we might as well just warp to where we need to go. Damn it, bro. Like, this is happening way too quick. I don't need to grind no more. I'm level 99, by the way. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe we can find the killer by who suggested which room. Who who suggested the fucking room? Who suggested the middle room be used? Who the fuck suggested the middle room be used? I don't remember. I don't remember who it was. But I think that might be the person we have to go after. Whoever suggested that shit. I will be reviewing the tapes. I will be reviewing the tapes. And we gonna get in that ass. It would be a, <laughs> It would appear we all have gathered. But it seems there are less and less of us. Oh. Less friends means it's much harder to solve mysteries. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Gonta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta do his best to help. Hmm. I want you to graduate from super idiot level to at least Kaito idiot level. <laughs> what? What? What's that supposed to mean? Are you okay? More importantly, are you okay, Kaito? Ah. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. But wow, Maki Roll sure does pack a punch. I don't know. It's your fault. <laughs> you don't need to worry about our dwindling numbers. Only dipshits have died so far. Wow. That being said... I know it's a tall order, but try to use your brains this time so you don't have to use mine. Booyah! These golden brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. Acceptable. As though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. Rest <laughs> in peace. To it, please, please lend us your power. But it may be difficult for us to rely on the two, considering what happened to Angie, whom the two loved most of all. Well, you know. She shouldn't have relied on the two in the first place. But seriously, it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in God, especially a two. I also. Ro robots can can believe in God. Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. What? <laughs> you may call it an inner voice. It tells me what to do whenever I'm in trouble. Got a minute? How long are you trying to say that for? <laughs> How long are you going to say that for? A two and ghosts don't matter right now. Jeez. We, we just going to ignore some obvious crazy hint that your boy just gave us. Somebody could be controlling him. Somebody could have been controlling... 
Oh man. Oh man. He could have been getting controlled by Miyu, bro. Because Miyu did install some stuff for uh, Robo. And you know what? Wasn't Robo in the Assassin's office? Yeah, the robot. Kibo was in the Assassin's office, my dude. Oh my god. Who knows? Maybe I'm thinking too hard. The trial this time is gonna be rough. We got caught in Monokuma's trap. Huh? His trap? That's right. He probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investigating. Oh, right already. No, he didn't. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> hey, so. Suji, say something. Huh? What should I say? <laughs> Bruh, you a bitch, you a bitch. <laughs> okay. Tua and ghosts don't matter right now. The culprit is among us. The culprits. So in the end, the culprit really was. No, it's nothing. We can talk about it once the trial starts. Oh, she looks bad. I wonder why she feels bad. Going to do his best to help. Please wait. It's true though. I do not know if it can be attributed. Attributed to God per se. I could hear an inner voice guiding me when I don't know what to do. I can't explain why, but I believe that voice will lead me to hope as long as it's On your knees! To why the fuck is a robot talking about God anyway? It's unseemly. You're so dumb. That inner voice is probably just a radio or something. Like in taxis and stuff. That is not funny. It was unwise of me to confide in you all. An inner voice, huh? Listen up! It's not using your brain so I don't have to. Shut up. Shut your... Shut up! <laughs> Respecting Angie and Tinko so much since the moment we met. Shut up! Nothing's gonna be solved by crying about I'm right it. already. Besides, that was a lie, wasn't it's it? It's a lie. Yep, you guys have me figured out already, so there's no point in keeping the act up. Kikichi never changes, no matter what situation he's in. <laughs> All right. All right. Mm. Yeah, spell. I never did figure that out. Because there was more than one person in the room. There was already somebody waiting in there, maybe? Or maybe somebody fucking stepped out of the corner, a.k.a. Himiko. A.k.a. Maybe, this is what I'm thinking. Maybe Himiko knew Tenko, killed Angie, and killed Tenko. <laughs> what? No, wait. But Himiko. Himiko, right? She actually wanted to do it. She wanted to actually be the voice or whatever. But Tinko. Maybe she knew Tinko would take her place. Right? And then she just did the deed. Fuck! Ah, oh, man! Right, did we talk to Gonta? Mm. Alright, we talked to everybody. All right, Monokuma statue time. Rumble, 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 rumble. School rumble. Bafukuma wants you now. <laughs> Bafukuma. You heard of Akuma, but have you heard of Bafukuma? <laughs> As usual, we walk towards the elevator in silence. As soon as we rem uh, as soon as we remaining survivors stepped aboard aboard. Oh boy. We descended. Then there's less of us, dude. Perhaps because there were fewer of us, the elevator seemed to be moving faster. Damn. And so we fell faster and faster downward into the black. The elevator stopped, and just like always, the doors parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light of our future, or is it? Uh-oh. They look really depressed. Must be because there's even less participants now. Oh. Don't say they look depressed. You'll make Mono Dom sad. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I love to keep hearing this adorable back and forth. Now then. Let's hurry up and get this started. Extreme. At last, the class trial will begin. I hope you enjoy it to your heart's content. The third class trial was about to begin. 
Oh. The ultimate artist got stabbed in her neck. Bum, bum, bum. She created the ultimate academy student council to prevent the killing game. But she got bodied for it. Well, I mean, I guess she did want everybody to work together and stuff, so I respect that. But unfortunately, it got a little bit of too out of hand, you know, communication wasn't there. People wasn't trying to understand, and uh, people got killed. Tenko, the ultimate Aikido master. She hated men, but I knew that she hated this terrible killing game even more. The two who were killed were both trying to stop the killing. Damn, <laughs> half that screen is gone, bro. <laughs> Ain't nobody over there living. All y'all on this screen gonna die. <laughs> or is it one person? Everybody from this faction is gonna die. Damn, everybody on this screen is safe as fuck. <laughs> I wish I was on this screen. Everybody's safe right here. Two different people? Already two people dead on here. Like, ain't nobody safe over here either. That middle screen is safe as fuck. <laughs> we need to pin that down in this class trial. In order to live, we have to find the truth. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. On the next episode, of course. Because that's my job. Thank <laughs> you.